Welcome back to the channel. I just came out to cut some flowers for my table, which is one of my favorite things to be able to do. Um, I have so many flowers that you can't even tell I cut bouquets. Um, but it's one of my favorite things is to be able to have fresh flowers uh, for my table or to give to a friend or something. So um, I just had a moment and so I just wanted to meet you in the garden. Um, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about seed saving. We're getting kind of to the time where there's going to be seeds that uh, you'll want to be saving. You can see all my colors. Aren't these gorgeous? They kind of make me think of a fiesta. They're those colors. So, um, <sighs> Seed saving is very important. One is so you'll have seeds for the next season. But another reason is... Um, there will be things that will come out in your garden that when you plant so many things like these zinnias that I plant and I just mix them all together. Um, these orange zinnias that you see here, I have grown those now for three years. Uh, when I saved seeds one year though, I, I never had orange zinnias in my garden at all. And one year I saved seeds and uh, I didn't know it and they had cross pollinated and I come up with this gorgeous color. So now every year I'm sure to save some of these seeds and they seem to be stable at this point. At least this is their third year. Um, I didn't even know that I had these. I planted some plants that I grew at my son's house and they grew and took off and I'm like, I didn't even have any seeds that color, but I had saved them from the year before. So. This is what happens when you have a cross-pollination. And it's good to look for that because I love those color. And now every year I'm sure that, you know, I'd be sure to save some of those seeds. Um, another cross-pollination that I had that I love, now this looks terrible, but I showed it to you in a video before. Um, this is a magenta zinnia that last year at some point cross-pollinated with a, a lime zinnia, a queen lime zinnia. So there's this greenish white in the center and then it had these magenta on the side. So I picked this head um, because that's where the seeds are. In fact, if you saw that little bird the other day, uh, yesterday's video that I put out, he was pulling out the petals and, and these aren't dry yet, but when he would pull out the petal, if you notice, he would eat the end of it off. Well, he was eating the seed, and then he would go, he would eat this part off, and then he would pull out another petal and eat that little seed again. And he just, he let the petal part just go. He, that wasn't what he was eating. He was wanting the seed. And um, right now they're green and soft, but these will dry, and they'll turn dark in color. And then you'll have, you know, all the seeds. And so I want to save these and see if um, I get flowers that look like this again next year. These, like I said, this one's kind of dry and icky, but uh, it was gorgeous when it was fresh and, and blooming. And this is the only one I had like this. So that's how new things get developed is um, through that. But watch for um, all of your different, uh, sorry, I see plants moving a lot down there, like there's an animal in them or something. Uh, maybe it's a bird, because they're eating them. Um, so watch all of your plants and see if you have anything unusual after you know, you've had them out there mixed together. Sometimes peppers uh, will cross-pollinate and you'll get a pepper that you didn't plant. Now, if you just bought seeds this year, you won't see that this year so much. You'd see it if you save your seeds and you grow them next year. That's when you would notice that. But I like to save my own seeds. It's really inexpensive. I mean, what you pay, you know, $4 for it at the store, you can take one tomato or one pepper and get all of those seeds um, and more seeds than what you would get in a packet. And so you'll be prepared for next year. It's a great way to um, have your seeds for next year and be sure that you have some. 
Anyway, this is the garden. It's still a jungle. I did work on a bunch of my raised beds to cut back. I had a lot of perennial um, herbs and I cut those back to make room because I planted tomatoes in there. So I cut those back because this is the time of year where I'm not going to harvest any uh, you know, pretty medicinal herbs because they've gone to flower and uh, for the most part, as a general rule, that's not when you want them. You want to harvest them when they're young and tender and fresh for medicinal purposes um, or for culinary purposes. Once they flower, like your uh, basil and stuff, once it flowers, its flavor changes. So um, you want it when all of the energy is going into the leaves and not into the flowers because once your plant does that it just won't taste the same so um oh i have a hummingbird here i wish i could show him to you that's probably what i saw down there i wish he would come over here maybe he will he's he's over there around the sunflower now but anyway if i can get him on video i will um before this is all up so Anyway, uh, if you like my videos, that would mean a lot to me if you would share them and subscribe to my channel. Um, I will continue to make videos. Right now the garden is kind of in a state where we're just harvesting. And uh, I do have a few recipes coming up I'm going to do for you in the kitchen. But uh, right now it's still a jungle and tomatoes, every day tomatoes are coming on. And if you harvest okra, you know that, um, or if you've ever grown okra, you know that you can go out of a morning and you'll have a little okra, and then you can come out later in the afternoon and it'll be a big okra. So if you have okra, you have to watch it really, really close because it doesn't take it but a few hours to get too big to eat. So. Anyway, um, I'm going to take these in, put them in water, and uh, I just want you to start checking for seeds and save them if you have some things that you particularly like um, but save your seeds for next year so that you'll have seeds and they're really economical so again like subscribe and share and thank you so much for being on my with me on my channel today